Welcome back to the Resident Evil deck building game. This is part three. Uh, last time I left a couple of notes in the video. Uh, when a character gets knocked out uh, below zero hit points, you are supposed to shuffle the discard and the draw deck together and start afresh. I forgot to do that the first time. I remembered it the second time. Anyway, let's continue. All right, Claire now only has a maximum of 30 hit points. Uh, let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five. I have a feeling this may be a short playthrough. However, let's see. All right, we have one action card, Deadly Aim. That's pretty good. We have the rifle and the pump shotgun. I just don't know. Maybe we have enough ammunition here. Let's see with Claire's special ability. All right, so first off, I have uh, 40 gold to spend. So I think I'm going to do a buy first before I do anything else. And with 40, I am going to buy, hmm, for 40, I think I will buy another pump shotgun. That will go in the discard. And now I'm going to play my action card, Deadly Aim. And it says all your weapons get plus 10 damage this turn. It gives me 20 ammunition. Uh, however, Claire's special ability says all your ammunition provides plus 10 ammo. So I'm ruling, and maybe it's incorrect, that because this is a plus 20 ammo, it's actually going to give me 30 ammo. Uh, and I have a 30 ammo and a 10 ammo, so this is going to give me 40, another 20, so 30, <laughs> let me see, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, I have 90 ammunition total which is just enough to fire up the bolt action rifle and the pump shotgun. Uh, and the bolt action rifle special ability says reveal the top card of your inventory. If it costs 40 or more, this weapon gets plus 30 damage. So let's hope the top card is worth nothing. All right. So I actually have a 45 damage. So yes, I'm going into the manor. So here we go, kicking the door down, 45 damage, pump action shotgun, and a rifle. And I just run into a little bug. <laughs> anyway, the bug only has a health of 10. Took it completely down, not a problem. And now that's going to bring Claire to her second ability, because she now has 2, 3, 4, 5. She has 6 decorations of monsters and we'll take a look at her card here and it says all your ammunition provides an additional 10 gold now so my ammunition cards 10 gold now i don't know this uh the first thing says all your ammunition provide an additional 10 ammo so it's possible that this ammo on this action card should not have gotten the 10 uh extra 10 ammo However, uh, we did only take out a small bug, so even if this is incorrect, that would not have made too much of a difference. Uh, and away we'll go with that. So her second ability is now unlocked. Let's go and do another turn. One, two, three, four, five cards. What do we have? Well, we have no weapons whatsoever. So, but we do have this action card, so we'll play this first, and we get to draw two cards, we get plus one action, then we have to move a card from our hand to the top of our deck. So, we're drawing two cards, we need another ammo card, and a handgun. Huh, well, not exactly thrilling. Uh, lots and lots and lots of gold. I think I'm just going to put the handgun on top. Uh, and we're just going to go straight with gold this time. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 gold. And that's because of Claire's uh, unlocked second ability. So with 110 gold, this time, no fooling around, I'm spending 90 and I'm buying the six shooter, which is, needs 50 ammunition, but will do 50 damage. So that's all going into the discard. And, of course, I did not explore to draw an infection card, and I'll be taking five damage for that. Okay, so Claire, five damage. She only has 30 health, so we don't really want to get beat up too much. All right, let's do some more. One, two, three, four, five cards. This time we have a knife and the handgun, which we would put on top, and we have the manor card. So I'm going to play this as my action. Play it right now. Draw two cards. One card, two cards. 
And unfortunately, I don't have any extra action, so I cannot play the Merchant. So he's, might as well just throw him in the discard. Uh, but I can do a buy. I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. And with 90, you know what? I'm going to buy another handgun for 90. Or another six shooter. Stick that into the discard. Should I go into the mansion with a knife and a pistol? Wow. I think I'm not going to. That's only... Well, you know what? 15 damage. Let's do it. We're going in. 15 damage. <laughs> oh, well, we were, we were doomed to failure anyway. Uh, 60 health. Nemesis T-type. Wow. He just wipes the floor with me, doing 40 damage, knocking me out. He is going to the bottom of the mansion deck. I get knocked out for the third time, which means I'm going to get another minus 20. Uh, this could be it, folks. This could be the end. She only has 10 health left. I have to take now my discard, my draw deck, shuffle them all together. And of course, being knocked out, we have one more draw of the infection deck. And if it happens to be a minus 10 card, then Claire will be at zero health, knocked out for the final time, because another minus 20 will put her at minus 80. And that means she will not be able to come back from that. So let's have a look. Is this going to be the end of Claire? No. No damage on the card. All right, she's slightly alive. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five. Not doing very well. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, this is, uh, this is better. Um, we have... We have 30... 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 gold. 90 gold. I think I'm going to buy one of the 60 ammos. Just put that in the discard. Let's see if we can stay alive here. And now I have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I have 90 ammunition because of Claire's ability. Which means I can go in guns a-blazing. I can use the six-shooter. 50 ammo and 20 for the pistol. I'm going in with 60 damage. And I can't forget this time, I do have a 20 ammo card. 60 damage, booting the door down. Oh yeah, liquor, take it. 40 damage, we blow him away. Three more decorations. Excellent stuff. And, hey, I didn't forget. This is the first time I didn't forget. <laughs> I can take the 20 ammo card, trash it now. And replace it with a 30 ammo card. All right. Yay for me. First time, I think, out of five that I remembered that. All right. Continuing on. One, two, three, four, five. What do we have here now? We have a six shooter again and a knife. And what do we have for gold? We have 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We have 80 gold. Uh, not enough to buy another six shooter. However, I will get another... 60 ammo card put that in the discard and we can't fool around we're going in we have 30 40 50 60 70 with 80 ammunition way more than enough for our six shooter we're going in with 55 damage booting the door down and oh yeah dr salvador you're in the hospital taking him down with the six shooter another two decorations Ah, uh, and we're still alive. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Let's keep going. This time we have the rifle, the pump shotgun, and a knife. But I don't think we have enough ammunition. We have 30 gold, 40, 50 gold. And with 50 gold, I think I'm going to buy another merchant. Throw him in the discard. And now what do we have for ammunition? We're going to have 20, 30, 40, 50 ammunition which is enough to do the bolt. Yeah, let's go in with the bolt action rifle. Top card of the deck, if it's worth uh, 40 or more, 30. Darn it. So all we can do is load the rifle, and we go in with 20 damage. This could be dangerous. 20 damage, 15. Take him down. However, we have to skip our turn with this guy. That's not good. All right, and with skipping a turn... Again, if this is a 10 damage, it's goodbye, Claire. Five damage. <laughs> All right. Hanging in.
by a thread. All right, let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five. The end is getting closer. Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is play the action. I'm going to play Umbrella Corporation. Plus two cards, plus one action. So, whoops, plus one card, plus two cards. So we get Deadly Aim and some more ammo. And I have to put a card on the top of my deck. So I get two plus two actions. Let's put a 10 ammo card on the top of the deck. And you know what? I don't have any weapons. So I can't really do a whole lot anyway. Um, however, I can play Deadly Aim and I can play um, my Merchant, which, oh, which gives me plus one card, which is going to be, of course, the card that I just stuck on top of my deck. And plus one buy. So I can buy two things. And I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I have 100 gold and two buys. 100 gold, two buys. I will get uh, a foyer. And let's get, just because we don't have one yet, Escape from the Dead City, 70. That's 100 gold. Unfortunately, due to my rules, I have to pull one of these cards because we could not explore. 10 damage, that is enough to wipe Claire out. All right, Claire dies or gets knocked out for the fourth time and she cannot come back from this one. All right, well, uh, that was pretty quick. Uh, let's have a final tally here. What did Claire, she had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. She had 12 decorations worth of monsters. And yeah, that was pretty painful, pretty quick. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit. Um, it's, uh, the, if you have all the expansions and stuff, there's just so much variety in this game. It's actually uh, much more fun to play with other people, of course. I like to play it cooperatively, where everyone uh, is working together to try to take down the big bad. And you either win or you lose, as you saw me losing here. Uh, and I do like to use the timer deck, the infection deck, uh, like that. It just... Uh, this makes the game, you don't sit around gathering cards. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. That was uh, Resident Evil, the deck building game. Uh, it's quite fun. I think it's pretty cheap, still pretty accessible in most locations. I think a lot of people have discounted it right now. I think for like 20 bucks or so on some websites, you can pick the game up. Uh, so it's actually a pretty good deal. It's pretty fun. It's a, it's a pretty interesting deck builder. Again, you get to play individual characters in the deck builder which I think is sort of unusual. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and join me in a week or two when I will uh, have another series up. All right, thanks so much, and join me next time.